Festival of the Living Dead. I watched it. Let's talk about it. Alright, so Festival of the Living Dead is a direct sequel to Night of the Living Dead, taking place 55 years after the first movie, and it follows the grandchildren of the main character from the first movie. Festival of the Living Dead is streaming exclusively on Tubi TV right now, and I'm reviewing this movie because it is directed by none other than the Sasuke sisters. Yes, Jen and Sylvia Sasuke, proud members of the Ripperverse, the newest writers of the up-and-coming, much-anticipated, multi-million dollar campaign, Yaira, number one. So yes, Festival of the Living Dead is directed by the Sasuke sisters. Now what I can say about this movie, it follows seven teenagers just out of uh, high school or their senior year of high school. They are looking forward to their freshman year in college. Some of them are looking towards Ivy League schools like Harvard and others are a little bit of misfits. The two main characters are Ash and Iris and Ash's younger brother, who is played by a 10-year-old badass, I will say that. And before we get into the review, let me just say this is going to be a spoiler-free review. I'm not going to spoil anything or get into the nitty-gritty with some very juicy details, because I do believe that this is a movie that you should watch for your own exclusively on Tubi TV, because it is a good movie, in my opinion. And I am a big horror movie, horror video game fan, and there is some gems, there are some easter eggs and nods to horror video games, yes, there are some nods to Resident Evil references, and this is just what I picked up, maybe evil, maybe even some Dead Rising references with some clever uses of props, music props, uh, to use as weapons in this movie my favorite character of the movie unfortunately is ty who is the stereotypical asshole yes you love to hate this guy and i think i liked him so much because in my opinion he was the most talented best actor in this movie and he is played by Andre Anthony, so here we have the cast here. Carmen plays Iris. Uh, Maya J, so there is tw uh, there are sisters in this movie. One of them is dating Andre Anthony. His character is Ty. And the two sisters are probably the most throwaway, forgettable characters of the entire cast. Kevin is dating the main character, uh, Ash, uh, Ash. And... What do I have to say about Kevin? Fuck Kevin. The whole reason that all of them get into this mess is because of Kevin. Kevin is the one who gets the tickets to this music festival. And man, without spoiling anything, this movie really revolves around the kind of millennial Gen Z crowd. This rave culture. This music festival culture. There is drugs. There is bad decisions. There... You, there is, let's just say, naughty stuff implied. And Kevin is the one who gets them mixed up into this music festival that Ash really wants to go to. Iris isn't invited, but Iris says, you know what, Ash, you go and have fun. I will stay at home and babysit your little brother. And you know what? I'm getting too much into spoilers here. The cast is great. And, and, and what this movie does fantastic is... It's not a serious zombie horror flick, and it doesn't take itself too seriously. I have seen time and time again where a slasher film or a zombie horror zombie film takes itself too seriously, and it's simply not that on the surface, and it kind of takes you out of the movie. This movie does not take itself seriously, and that is where it kind of does get a little eerie a little scary it's not like there's no jump scares but there is like holy shit like you know shit is happening right now that is what i enjoyed about it is the fact that it didn't take it itself too seriously and that is sort of what made it eerie the cast is great the cinematography is fantastic the picture 
the picture is crisp. And I will say this because we are in 2024. It is a diverse cast, but the movie doesn't tell you that this is a diverse cast. It doesn't shove it down your throat that the main character is special because of how diverse she is. The movie doesn't tell you that the movie is special because of how diverse the cast is. Hell, there is a handicapped or more or less a handicapable cast member uh, in this in this movie, a main character, and there is nothing brought to light about it. There is no attention brought to it. And the dude holds his own, but it's not, it isn't cringe. He's not going over the top where he's doing things that are unbelievable. He is holding his own in a way that a handicapped person would. And I respected that. One thing that I actually did really enjoy and that I thought was fantastic was the soundtrack. The music in this movie was great. And it wasn't just at the festival parts. It was from beginning to end. The incorporation of the music was fantastic. So, man, I really do want to spoil this movie a lot, but I'm not going to because I truly feel that you guys should go out and watch it. I'm not going to give like a 1 to 10 rating on it. I mean, I guess I could. On a scale of 1 to 10, I say this movie is a a strong, man, it's a strong 7, 9, 8.1. I say, I say it's a good 7, 9. If you know the Dave Portnoy scale of pizza, 7-9 is a very, very strong score uh, because there's no kind of supernatural elements to this. This is just a small contained zombie movie with a very good compelling cast. There's not really any too, there's not too many throwaway characters except I think for maybe the, the sisters in this movie. Man, I really want to spoil the movie. I really do. I really do. Everyone was a very good actor. There was no cringe dialogue. Okay, I will say this. If I'm going to be critical, if I'm going to be critical of this movie, I will say this. That there were some moments of dialogue between Iris and Ash where they start talking about where their friendship is, is drifting apart. And we, as a viewer, I'm like, we are in the middle of a zombie outbreak right now. And they are on a stealth mission. Ash leaves to go on this mission alone. Iris joins her. And we get into a bit of dialogue where they're talking about their friendship and how their friendship isn't as strong anymore. And I'm thinking, is now really the time? Is now really the time to get into the nitty gritty of your friendship and why you guys aren't as close as before? But then again, I've never been in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. I've never been in the middle of a zombie outbreak. I've never been in the life death situation. Uh, with zombies trying to eat my face off. So maybe, perhaps, that could be the very much appropriate time to talk about your friendship and uh, with your best friend. So who knows, but I thought that that was one of the things where I noticed, I'm like, really, right now we're going to talk about how strong our friendship is in the middle of a zombie outbreak, but I'm not in their shoes. So maybe that was the appropriate time. Then again, this is a not-so-serious zombie movie after all. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. I hope you guys watch it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share with a friend who you think would enjoy it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. And we'll talk to you again soon.